Am I the only person that continues to see on YouTube, on X, all these videos of these streamers, YouTubers, and just some people in general playing in absolute bot lobbies, dropping nuke after nuke, swarm after swarm, gameplays that don't even make sense in today's Call of Duty world. And the reason I say it doesn't make sense is there's a thing called skill-based matchmaking. It's real. We're not going to go around it. We're not going to say it's not real because it is. It's been talked about by Activision themselves. It's a real thing. But why do I continue to see streamers and top YouTube creators play in these type of lobbies every single day over and over again? Are they reverse boosting? Are they using a VPN? Are they doing something, some type of way to get around skill-based matchmaking? It has to be something. Guys with 10, 15, 20 KDs playing blind Timmy and Helen Keller in the fucking back every single game. The lobbies make no sense. The players they are playing make no sense. And yes, I'm playing 12v12 mosh pit. I play this because it's more of a casual Call of Duty to me. In my opinion, 12v12, 10v10, less skill-based matchmaking, more kills, more fun for me. I'm not scared to admit that I do that. Yes, I do that because it's more fun for me. But when I play 6v6, I, get, I have to try my fucking ass off to get a 1.4, 1.5 KD. That's a good game for me. And back in the day, that's just like, meh. But nowadays for me, I'm like, damn, okay, that's good for me. I'm, I'm doing good now. But then I see these players, these top YouTube guys... Not going to say who they are. Not going to give them credit or, or, or attention because they don't need that anymore. They got plenty of it, right? I'm seeing them playing dudes just like that every single game. It's, it's, it's to the point where reverse boosting is cheating. Reverse boosting, using a VPN, just getting around skill-based matchmaking is cheating. It is. To me, it's almost worse than cheating. And what do I mean by that? Skill-based matchmaking was put in this game to obviously make it more of a fair playing field. All right, whatever. Do I like it? No, I really don't. But it is what it is. We have to deal with it. We've been dealing with it for years. The people that get around it and post these gameplays of them dropping 200 kills on shipment or double, triple nuke gameplays, five swarms a game, multiple advanced UAVs, blah, blah, blah. People that post videos like that are creating a really bad false hope for the average Call of Duty player. The average Call of Duty player that doesn't really look into this game that much, that just watches people just to watch, you know, see how they play, whatever. They're not going to notice things like that. They're not going to notice that the, that the players they are playing are bots. They're not going to notice that. But people like me that play this game a lot more than, the, than others, that create videos... Notice that. And it's not 12v12 where, yes, you get bot lobbies. I'm not scared to admit that. It's 6v6. And it's like I'm watching their stream, and it's every single game they're playing these type of players. Once in a while, you start up, your first game is going to be crazy easy, right? First game, maybe your second game as well. After that, once you start doing good, it gets ramped the fuck up. Everybody knows what I'm talking about here. It's not a it's not a a a thing that I'm fantasizing about or thinking is out there. It's real. It's actually real. Activision's talked about it. We don't have to go into that, right? But every game though, for these top YouTube guys, they are playing shitters. Bots doesn't even look like real people. Why? They are creating this false hope. That this game is like that every single lobby. Somebody's going to go out say, should I get this game? They're going to watch a gameplay. They're going to be like, oh my god, this game looks fun. They're going to buy the game. They're going to spend 70 fucking dollars. Right now it's actually 49 because it's on sale. God bless. But when that sale's over, they're going to spend 70 fucking dollars to get absolutely destroyed because of skill-based matchmaking. Now, destroyed for them might be playing decent for them. But for me, getting a 1.0 KD means I got fucking destroyed. Like, I don't want to have a 1.0 KD. I want to be at least a 1.5 to 2.0 KD nowadays. But when they start playing the game, they're going to be like, this is not what. Who am I playing against? Why the fuck is this guy sliding, jumping around, 
using this gun, head glitching, going crazy. Why, who the fuck am I playing? When you got dudes over here with millions of subscribers, thousands of followers on Twitch, whatever, playing dudes that just got the game or have no idea what the fuck they're doing. That's creating a false hope in the Call of Duty community. That's creating a, a just, it's like a fucking virus, bro. It, it is not good. I'm telling you, it's not good for this game. It's not good for the community because it is just cheating. It's cheating. It's cheating. And for the people that support skill-based matchmaking, you should be on my side because this is going to ruin it for those that are not good at this game because they're going to get in that lobby with that top YouTuber and get fucking demolished. How is that fun, right? For the guys that support skill-based matchmaking, how is that fun? It's not, right? But why is it always these top guys somehow, some way, always get those lobbies? It can't just be me seeing this, right? I see it on Twitter every single day. I see it on YouTube every single day. Nuke after nuke. Every single every single video is a fucking nuke. I'm like, holy shit. Getting a nuke is like not easy to do with skill-based Like, not at all. Not at all. The only nuke I got in this game is 12v12. Playing dudes like that. They have no idea what they're doing. Because 12v12 has like no skill-based matchmaking. I love it. I think it's fun, right? But I don't go around the fucking algorithm in 6v6 just to get these lobbies. I'm not a bitch. I'm not a shitter like that. So how are these guys continuously doing this over and over again? Having 10 KDs, 20 KDs. I, I thought skill-based matchmaking is off a score. Something's going on, right? Something has to be going on. And I'm not scared to admit that they're better than me. I'm not scared to admit all these YouTubers are better movement, gunplay, accuracy, everything that they do in their gameplays, they're better than me at this game. I'm not scared to admit that. So make sure that I don't have anybody in the comments saying that I'm just jealous that they're better than me. I know they're better than me. Let me know what you guys think, but I think reverse boosting is fucking cheating. VPN users are cheaters. Hope you guys like the video. If you do, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do your thing. I'll see you guys in the next one. But this is the Rick. I'm out. Peace.